We're here in front of the famous Boneyard, where we hide scented items for the dogs that are competing for America's Top Dog. I'm Mike Goosby. I'm a sergeant and chief trainer with Los Angeles Police Department, Metropolitan Division K-9 Platoon. I'm standing here in front of the famous Boneyard with Officer Edgar and his K-9 Vader. Boy, up. Take a war. Take a war. Vader, good boy. Good boy. Boost. Hop. Hop. Toy. Good boy. We're going to give you guys a quick lesson on how these dogs work inside the scent detection room and how they find the narcotics or the guns or the human scent that's been hidden for them. So the way it starts off, basically, is you start off with the box drill. You have your blank boxes and you have your hot box. You use a treat or a toy. In this case, this is Vader's favorite toy. So we take Vader's toy, we put it in the box, and then Edgar takes Vader and he works them along the blank boxes, and when Vader comes to the hot box, so to speak, and he alerts the hot box, then we start learning that Vader associates a scent with that box. So Edgar, do us a favor, and go ahead and start working Vader across the boxes for us, please. So you see a direct change in Vader's behavior and how interested he is in this box, because he associates that box with his toy. So we're gonna go ahead and let Vader out the box his toy. All right, so now we know that Vader knows how to work the boxes and knows how to work scent. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna teach him how to associate that toy with a certain odor, a target odor, so to speak. So I'm gonna grab a bag of ammunition here. So Vader's been trained on detecting gunfire, gunfire residue, ammunition, guns. So we take the residue of the spent shell casings and we're now gonna associate these and time together. So now the target odor is in there with Vader's toy. And this takes a little time, but we're gonna fast forward for you. So now Vader works the boxes, and now he's hitting on the target odor as well as his toy. So go ahead and have Vader hit that toy again, please. As you see, he's really associating this odor with his toy. So now we're gonna still put the target odor in the box. Vader's toy is no longer in the boxes. Edgar's gonna now go ahead and work Vader on the boxes again, but Vader should hit on the target odor now instead of his toy being there. When he alerts to the target odor, and he, we know he's right, we pay him with his toy. So now he starts associating his toy with his target odor. So now that the dog has become what we call in the canine community, imprinted, on the scent of gunpowder or smokeless powder or black powder, we will now start advancing Vader's training. We'll take these boxes and we'll put them in corners of a room now. So now he's moving into a new environment, but he still has something he's very familiar with being these scent boxes. We now work the room in a systematic detailed manner until Vader hits on the box. Once he hits on the box, we again reward him with his toy. And pretty soon we start moving the boxes out of the room, but putting the scent item in the room And now Vader is associating the scent to scent source, and that scent source is going to get him his toy. And now we have a trained detection dog that can deploy in the